hypoglycemia in infants hypoglycemia means decrease in glucose amount in the blood in infants if the plasma glucose level is less than 30 mg per dl in the first 24 hour and less than 45 mg per dl thereafter then there may be neuro development delay means uh, we can say that glucose is the main uh, source of energy in the child and if this glucose level is less in the body then it will affect the cells of the uh, cells of the brain means the nerves and also it will affect the other cells of the body when the child come from an intrauterine life to extra uterine life there are many changes like the change in heart rate respiratory rate there will be change in circulation and similarly there will be change in the hormonal regulations and there will be uh, metabolic adaptations like mo uh, mobilization of glycogen reserve hepatic synthesis of glucose from other substrate and other regulation of hormone to maintain the balance and we can say this is the counter regulation of the body to maintain the health of the child to uh, help the child to easily adapt in the extra uterine life causes of hypoglycemia are first poor nutrition poor nutrition in the mother and also after the birth of the baby if the child is not properly breastfed then uh, because of delayed breastfeeding there are chances of poor nutrition and may lead to hypoglycemia second high insulin in blood if the mother is having gestational diabetes mellitus during pregnancy then there will be high il insulin level in the child severe uh, hemolytic diseases like if there is incompatible uh, blood types then birth defects congenital metabolic dis uh, diseases then hormone deficiencies like the deficiency of pituitary and glucagon then asphyxia liver diseases infection in the child these are all the causes of hypoglycemia risk factors for hypoglycemia are first gestational diabetes mellitus gestational diabetes mellitus is like hyperglycemia during the time of pregnancy the symptoms are similar to diabetes mellitus 2 and in this the insulin will be resistant there will be insulin resistance in the body then small for gestational age preterm babies born in significant stress and mother on medication for example terbutaline which is used for asthma and delays birth of preterm babies up to 48 hours these are the risk factors of hypoglycemia now i will tell you about gestational diabetes mellitus and uh, hypoglycemia and the relation between them basically what happens when food is absorbed in a body there will be hyperglycemia means there will be increased amount of glucose in the blood in response to that there will be increased insulin which is released from the beta cells of pancreas and this insulin will lead to absorption in the liver and the muscles and it is stored as glycogen for the future use but in pregnant mothers there will be increase in insulin sensitivity but if you if we are talking about gestational diabetes mellitus there will be insulin resistance instead of insulin sensitivity insulin sensitivity will be present in the mother but in the child if there is increased blood glucose there will be increase fetal pancreas insulin and because of increase amount of insulin there will be increased growth and this will lead to increase in the size of the baby after birth when there is no supply of glucose from the mother but still the child have increased amount of insulin which will lead to hypoglycemia this is the case of diabetes mellitus means gestational diabetes mellitus here we see the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia first tachycardia paler skin there will be apnea tachypnea hypoventilation cyanosis in the child there will be poor feeding vomiting then hypotonia we can see hypothermia irritability in the child tremors seizures and high pitch cry and the child will be lethargic these are the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia breastfeeding is important for a hypoglycemic child breastfeeding should be done up to 6 month exclusively and it should be started within half an hour in treatment if the child can be feed orally 
then breast feed the child and we have to check after one hour the blood glucose level we can use buccal glucose gel 0.5 ml per kg and we have to feed the child 20 ml per kg per day and we can also increase the frequency then we have to again reassess the child after every feed and until three normal readings we have to repeat the process if the child cannot be feeded orally for example in conditions like abdominal distension or if the child is having cardiorespiratory distress then we have to we have to give iv bolus 10% dextrose for uh, 2 ml per kg then we have to give 10% glucose infusion for full term baby we can give 4 to 6 mg per kg per minute and for premature we can give 6 to 8 mg per kg per minute if this dose is not effective then we have to increase the iv infusion by 20 ml per kg per day and monitor the serum sodium level if it is not effective then we have to increase the dextrose infusion up to 12.5 to 15 percent we have to give central line required and we have to uh, if this is also not effective then we have to give glucagon bolus 0.02 mg per kg by IV or IM or we can give glucagon infusion